Let's just gather around for the opening ceremony. Very committed, passionate, and dedicated people are responsible for this event today. We are gathered here in a spirit of unity to honor, to commemorate, and to reflect on a day 10 years ago that through both tragedy and great heroism, changed each of our lives forever. Originally, we had a goal of $10,000 for this um, fundraiser, and I'm happy to announce that when I spoke to Michael Lynn, who's standing right there, she's the co-chair, um, she told me last night that we raised $12,000 already. So thanks to you. Thank you so much. O oh God, our God, we invoke your name here on this day in honor of heroes. Those in uniform who answered the call to serve their country, to stand in harm's way so our loved ones would not have to. But also, O oh God, on this day of days, we remember the first responders. We remember those who answered a different call those who ran up the stairs into the smoke, into the fire, without a second thought or moment's hesitation. O oh God, bless all who serve, all who we are proud to call heroes, all who keep us safe, all who serve in uniform, all who serve their country and hold us dear so we may hold to our lifestyle and our American way. In your holy and blessed name we pray, and pray boldly. Amen. Oh, see, can you see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red the bombs bursting still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you.
and thank all participants, everyone that's come here today. On behalf of the Board of Selectmen of the town of Litchfield, I welcome you all. Litchfield's a town that uh, has produced many heroes and continues to honor those heroes uh, even today. I also thank you as a member of the United States Navy, a proud service, one of, one of many services uh, that, that are available, if you will, to citizens of this country. And as a uh, citizen, I want to also remark on the uniqueness of America. This is a country whose heroes come from its citizenship. Not a professional class of military, not a uh, born and bred professional military, but a citizen military. It's unique in world history. It's one of the great strengths of this country. And it extends citizenship heroes extend not only to the military, but to all who serve in uniform. And we should just continue, not just today, but every day, to be grateful for the citizen and military heroes in our midst. On a bulletin board outside the uh, First Selectman's office in Town Hall are pictures, photographs of all those currently serving in the United States military. Next time you're at Town Hall and you're stopping, stopping in for any reason, please stop and take a look at that bulletin board and thank the Lord for the military heroes among us. Thank you and welcome. Oh, Holy One, bless those here for the military heroes walk, run, adventure race. Helping these runners and walkers to be instruments of hope, healing, and peace. Grant them God's speed, good health, and good tidings, this day and every day, now and forever. And together we say, Amen. Amen.